Hey guys. Well, it's getting towards the end of the season and I'm trying to get in these gardening videos and the main purpose is I, I want to show the results of some of the things I've tried and um, this is more of a, a long-term result but I can see a clear difference and I want to show it to you and uh, you can make up your mind if you see a difference too and what that is is I don't know if you guys recall last year but I took all those grass clippings and I mulched around my plants with them and as I pulled weeds last year I threw all the weeds in between the rows and all that stuff breaks down and it adds nutrients to the soil over time and uh, I want to show you the results of doing that so we'll get right to it this garden now what I want to show you is and I apologize for the wind hopefully it's not an issue but last year my garden was the same size but it was off this way just a little bit about one row because I figured it out and last year my garden ended right here right about in this area and this was somebody else's garden but this year they put the plots out a little bit differently so now this is part of my garden and you can see a clear difference if you stand here because all the plants in this last row are weaker or smaller or putting out less fruit than all of the other plants in all these other rows that got mulch and compost last year. And I can take you in close and if we get down, I mean I can see it but even the corn, it's real short in this row and spindly and it gets bigger. Now there's a hill here so it kind of goes down that way but uh, the corn gets bigger as it goes. Same with the sunflowers. The tomatoes are much healthier as they get over in this direction. Same with the peppers and everything else. This last row is the only row I had any problems with the peppers not growing and you can see some of them even after fertilizing and stuff they're just kind of weak. They're just kind of weak from the start. I broadcast a bunch of marigolds and basil in this bed and in that bed equally and you can see this bed is really sparse there's not much basil the basil that is growing is pretty small but as soon as we hit this bed that had the grass clippings and the weeds as mulch the marigolds are nice and full the basil is nice and full all the peppers are nice and full and putting on lots of fruit come over here to the tomato patch now my tomatoes got a lot of weeds and that's somewhat intentional to try and uh, distract the animals one thing I can say is I have not had a single uh, tomato hornworm in these tomatoes and other people in this community garden have I don't know if that has anything to do with me letting a few of the weeds grow but I think it does but you can see these tomatoes are all putting on fruit and they have nice fresh green growth and it's the same you know all the way down through here but this top bed that was somebody else's garden last year that didn't get any organic matter put into the soil I mean look at the tomatoes they're just all weak and kind of diseased and I mean there's like no leaves on them there's very little fruit the fruit that is forming is pretty small I mean, this is probably the best one of all of them but if we go over here into the bed that got the mulch there's a nice big beef steak there's more tomatoes there there's tomatoes hidden all over through here but surprisingly enough the uh, groundhog or something is still managing to find the ripe ones but here's one that is getting close to ripe I better pick it while it's still here if I get them when they're just turning orange then uh, I can sit them on the shelf and they'll ripen up 
otherwise I don't get any tomatoes. <laughs> so that you should be able to see the difference in the tomatoes and again we're in that last row and it's just like you know this is it this is the tomato plant it's got like five leaves up top and no flowers or nothing and here's the other piece of it nothing there the leaves form and they just die because there's really nothing in the soil to give them the energy they need to fruit and stuff or any disease resistance here's the last row of Indian corn that I planted and it's uh, kind of small and spindly. The beans are just getting started and they're never going to make it because it's getting too late now. And as we get to the second row, you can see there's beans on there. Another bean right there. This was planted late. Because I staggered my plantings of corn and beans. And as we get more into the garden, the corn just instantly just gets a lot bigger with uh, actual ears of corn on it versus just a plant with nothing. More beans. Go down and show you the sweet corn. again and stand back a bit there's the sweet corn in this last row looks a little sparse to me and I really didn't get any ears of corn on this last row except for you now right here but that's a pretty small ear it ends right there so it only half filled out but as soon as we step into the second row where it had the organic the grass clippings and weeds that I pulled as mulch which ended up composting down naturally I've already harvested the corn here too so can't really show you the corn but I had a lot more sweet corn in here it was a little bit fuller than the stuff out here in this last row and the beans are way better off as I get in here I mean these last four rows of beans that had the the compost I mean they just had tons of beans I'm letting these ones go to seed because I'm gonna save them for next year to plant even the radishes and stuff did better in these beds that were composted versus this outside bed a lot of these these radishes were much sparser I, I even the well even the marigolds did better there's a lot more marigolds in here. And get down to the last row. And you can see here, this is the, the tallest corn plant in this last row is about six foot tall. And as soon as I step in, the next one is about eight foot tall. And it's the same way all the way down. And it's not so much about how tall the corn is, it's about how healthy it is. You know, look how thick that stock is compared to this stock. A big difference. And it's mainly about getting fruit. And uh, I didn't really get any fruit off of these, this last row. All the corn I harvested was from the four rows that got the compost. But. Looks like the video is getting a bit long, so I want to try and keep it a bit short here and uh, just really just wanted to show the difference because I see a huge difference myself and hopefully you can see it in the video as well. And Just, uh, you know, to me that makes sense that if I put plants back into the soil and let them break down over the winter, then the next season the plants that I put in the ground are going to do much better because they're going to have a lot more nutrients in the ground to feed off of. That's it. Uh, do like I always do and just say uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support.